Hey, this is Pastor Seth here again, and this week in A Word to Ponder, I just want to talk with you about baptism. Our church is going to have a baptism on Sunday, August 16th, and baptism isn't something that often we spend time on in a sermon, so maybe maybe a baptism class if you've ever been baptized, or maybe you just hear about it, read about it online. It's not something we we talk too much about, or, you know, in the evangelical free church, we don't emphasize it a ton. You don't have to be baptized to be a member. There's some churches where, where that is true. Um, that's not true for, for the evangelical free church for Bethel. So we've looked at, you cannot, baptism is not something that saves you. We're saved only by the grace of God as we have faith in the gospel. Faith is receiving and resting in what Jesus has done for us, purchasing our freedom and our forgiveness by his blood on the cross. Baptism is following Jesus, obeying Jesus. It is giving public testimony of what Jesus has done in our life. And it, it, is, it is a symbol of, of going into death and coming out again. Not only that, but it is, it is also just a way where we can solidify our faith a little bit more by obeying him. But then like, what is, what is it exactly? What is baptism exactly? And I've referred to Matthew 28, 18 to 20 several times this week. And it says, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore, these are the last words of Jesus on earth as recorded in the Gospel of Matthew. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. In baptism, it's a big deal. It's one of the things Jesus mentioned. He said, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them. In the New City Catechism, it puts it this way, and I like this wording. It says, Baptism is the washing with the water in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It signifies our adoption into Christ and our cleansing from sin and our commitment to belong to the Lord and to His church. It signifies... It's a sign, it's a symbol. Our adoption into Christ, our cleansing from sin, and our commitment to belong to the Lord and to his church. It's this public declaration of something that's happened inside of us. Oftentimes, you know, until we go public with like something, we're more prone to go back on it. We're not inviting people to hold us accountable. But in in baptism, we're saying, no, I want to follow Jesus. I want to do this thing that he he commanded us to do. And I want to do it with these, it's, it's in some ways, it's not exactly like a marriage, but in some ways it's kind of like a wedding, which is this public declaration of, of an invisible reality in front of a community of people. And baptism is very similar to that. It's just a public declaration of, of my new relationship to God through faith in Jesus in front of my church family. And we do it. When when we go into the water, I'll say, or the pastor or the parent will say, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And then I say, buried with Christ in baptism, this is out of Romans chapter 6, and raised to walk in newness of life. It's a beautiful, wonderful thing. It's a sign. It's a a step of obedience. It does not save us. But yet it's something good which God uses in our life to grow us.